Hi, Chuck here with Apple Drains in Charlotte, North Carolina. Today we're going to show you how a sump pump actually works. Uh, we got here to this job and it was totally flooded, so let's take the opportunity to show you how the sump pump works. Basically, you can see that little white ball inside the bucket going up and down. That is called the float. As the water rises, it lifts up the float and kicks on the pump. And then the water comes out that white pipe right there and will be discharged outside. This crawl space was so flooded, we had to dig basically underwater to install this temporary sump pump just to pump out the water. The bucket is only temporary. We do not install our pumps inside buckets. I've slowed the video way, way down so you can see how the float rises and falls, turns on and off the pump. Here the float is in the down position. That means the pump is off. As the water rises, you'll see that float come up, and here the pump is on, kicking out the water, and you can see it going down. Remember, this video has been slowed way, way down. That water really gets pumped out of there quickly. Okay, let's look at the main reason why a sump pump should never be installed in a five gallon bucket. The main reason that you do not use a bucket is because the float tends to get stuck on the wall. The pump's just too big for that bucket. Yeah, it works temporarily, but when that float gets stuck against the wall, it's either going to be in the on position or the off position. Either way, it's going to be a problem for your sump. A proper sump pit is at least 2 feet deep and 18 inches wide. That way the pump can sit squarely on the bottom. Next you install a check valve which is on the discharge line and that helps keep the water from coming back down through the line and spinning the impeller backward which would burn out your sump pump. Here you can see the discharge of the sump pump once it's been installed. You see the check valve at the bottom and the line goes up out through the wall. Don't forget, it takes gravel perforated pipe all along the footer leading to the sump pump to make this system work. Now we're coring the wall for the discharge of the inch and a half pipe. This is done with a hammer drill and it takes a few minutes, but once it's done, you'll be able to slide your inch and a half pipe right through this hole. This is a two inch hole, by the way. And there's the hole from inside the crawl space. This is Chuck with Apple Drains in Charlotte, North Carolina, reminding you that when you believe you can do something, I guarantee that you can do it.